right, we've got Dr. Christopher Liu. Chris, you're one of our more popular guests that was on the program. We're celebrating our 100th episode, so thanks for uh, stopping by for a few minutes. What have you been up to, my friend? Well, uh, congratulations on the 100th episode. I believe um, I appeared on your podcast a little bit over a year ago, and like we all know, last year was uh, quite a pivotal pivotal year I, for... I just changed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly um yeah i know 2020 was hard for some but um if you're an entrepreneur like you and your audience um it was a year of uh, quick pivots and just massive opportunities um a lot of opportunities in the equity markets um and uh just capitalizing on virtual meetings seminars and moving everything to virtual environments so um i just uh got recently finished with a um digital health consulting project in Seattle back in October, uh, then took a month off and um, I just uh, just finished up a successful December workshop um, helping clients learn how to uh, successfully invest in short-term rentals. Um, so yeah, and um, my whole uh, webinar workshop bootcamp series started actually in March of the pandemic when everybody was um, freaking out and reaching out um, and there, there was a lot of turmoil so I started this series to really re help a broader audience and um, able to leverage technology and scale and help uh, more people make a greater impact so um, that's been my predominant focus I've been really growing my social media following on Instagram I got um, named as one of the top 50 doctors to follow on Instagram by Board Vitals um, recently yeah it's been it's been really good um i think last year really uh leveraging social media leveraging um digital platforms uh digital technology virtual environments really helped and saved a lot of uh businesses and helped saved a lot of um entrepreneurs so and um it's really interesting cuz you see a lot of uh business models especially uh in so many different sectors evolving because of this um whole pandemic so i think um and what's interesting is that, um, for example, back in 2008, when the whole crisis came, you know, the, all, a lot of companies, including uh, DoorDash, um, Airbnb, Uber, Lyft, they came and now they're all um, IPO'd. So I think this from this year, you're going to see a lot of uh, new innovative companies who eventually go public in the next you know, eight to 10 years. Yeah, it's, you keep, keep an eye on it. it. It's funny, Chris and I, we have these... This weird thing over the last year where we have these one word texts. <laughs> so, um, like during the pandemic is really where I got into stock trading because I knew that a lot of the stocks were going to drop, which they did. Yeah. Just buy it at, at bargain, bargain basement prices. And I remember we were talking and they said, you need to invest in Tesla. I said, nah, it's just over. <laughs> and then they're going to like say, Tesla, exclamation point. And then because it, it, it went high and then I would respond, okay, I'll buy like you. And yeah. then it drops, yeah. you know, as it did. And then I would go, Tesla! <laughs> 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 and it's, it's, it's just gone crazy. So I want, I want to thank, thank you for that. But uh, yeah, that, that was the thing that for me during the pandemic is I really got into the stock trading and really learned about options trading. So it's, it's, it's been a, a fun roller coaster uh, ride. But thank you for, for sharing that. So, so what do you have... Um, I know you're always kind of on the cutting edge. You know what's going on in social media. Uh -huh. It seems like you have your ear to like what what's going on, especially with physicians and entrepreneurship. What advice or tips or prediction do you have for for this year? Um, well, I think uh, I think 2021 is going to be um, really uh, you're going to see really um, exponential changes from uh, 2020. And so, like I said, you're going to see, for example, I, um, I think virtual reality is going to be really big. Um, so I started, oh. yeah, I, I actually got a um, Oculus Quest 2 um, for Christmas just to um, learn about the technology and learn how to leverage that. And um, I think, you know, I recently added a virtual reality live series in addition to my weekly webinar. So I think, I think you'll see a virtual reality come into play. Um, uh, artificial intelligence continues to make gains um, and so I think you know there was recently in California there was a rollout of autonomous um, uh, delivery uh, vehicles semi small vehicles that deliver food to uh, college campuses 
So I think um, I think autonomous vehicles are, are going to be, you know, you'll start to see that. Um, and another kind of controversial area for physicians is the blockchain. So um, I real, recently wrote a Kevin MD article talking about blockchain and how it relates to um, digital currencies and what it really means for the uh, future of healthcare. So um, 2021, you're going to see a lot of action in digital currencies. Um, I don't, you know, again, um, buyer beware because it's a lot of speculation and hype. So it's not really, a, you know, a sound or solid investment, but it's something to worth uh, learning about and understanding and getting familiar with because um, digital currencies are among the first applications of the blockchain, but the blockchain has so many other different applications that really, we really haven't explored, and especially in healthcare, for example, um, supply chain management, privacy, security, um, there's a whole host of applications. So I think blockchain will continue to, um, to uh, be in the forefront. Yeah, unfortunately, as you know, medicine is instant. We're still antiquated, always <laughs> behind the time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, I have a Linktree uh, link, uh, so it's um, www.linktree.com, and it's uh, Dr. Chris Liu, MD, PhD, um, I'll, and I'll, se- I'll send you the link. And then I'm also, uh, you follow me on Instagram, Dr. Chris Liu, MD, PhD. I'm at, um, I'm at almost 2,500 followers now. Uh, at my YouTube channel is growing, um, you know, over 100 videos. Uh, Twitter, Dr. Chris Liu, MD, PhD, um, and uh, you can always email me as well. So like I said, um, I've really leveraged social media and technology, and it's really helped me um, leverage and expand my reach to my followers yeah, and my yeah. clients. Yeah, so, so for you guys who are listening and you want to, you know, I always think you can learn best from other examples. Chris is someone that you definitely want to follow if you want to increase your social media presence. Chris, always great talking to you. Excellent. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks, Mike. See you next time.